Hello friends, welcome to Rajas Data Engineering. In this video, I'm going to explain how to integrate Azure Data Lake Storage with Databricks. This is one of the very common requirement across most of the Azure Data Engineering projects. Azure Data Lake Storage is mainly used to store the data. And Databricks can integrate with Azure Data Lake Storage for reading and writing files. There are so many ways to integrate Azure Data Lake Storage with Databricks. For example, we can integrate Azure Data Lake Storage with Databricks using Service Principle. Service Principle and O-Authentication can be used in this method. And if you know the Azure Active Directory credentials, we can use that also to connect Azure Data Lake Storage with Databricks. This method is called Credential Pass-Through. And if we know the access key of Azure Data Lake Storage, we can connect directly also. This is the third method. And we can create a mount point using Azure Data Lake Storage access key. There are many methods, but still I'm going to cover two, uh, two methods in this demo. I will show the method three and four. And creating a, uh, you know, creating a mount point that is very common across all the projects. This is more standard and I think most of the projects mount point would be used to integrate um, Azure Data Lake Storage with Databricks. So in this demo, I'm going to cover uh, the option three and four. As part of this demo, these are the steps I'm going to perform. These are the high level actions. In the step one, I'm going to create Azure Data Lake Storage service in Azure portal. Once that is done, in the step two, I'm going to create a mount point in Databricks using PySpark code. Once mount point is created, Databricks can integrate, can read and write files from Data Lake Storage. So in the third step, I'm going to create a PySpark uh, code. It, it's going to be a very simple program. It will read uh, uh, files, CSV files from Azure Data Lake Storage in Databricks. These are the high level actions that we are going to perform in today's demo. So let's uh, start our demo. As a first step, I'm going to create Azure Data Lake Storage. Uh, this is Azure portal. I have already logged in to my um, environment. So I'm going to create Azure Data Lake Storage first. So for that, I'm going to click on Azure uh, Storage Accounts. So in order to create a storage account, I have to click on Create. Then I need to provide the subscription that is by default it got selected and resource group that is also I'm going with default one. There is a resource group for learn, learning and I'm going to use that one and I have to give a storage account name. For example, uh, in this exercise, you know, I'm going, I can give ADLS uh, Raja Data Engineering, ADLS Raja DE. I'm going to leave other options to default. Let me proceed. And coming to this um, option, enable hierarchical namespace, I'm going to use Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. So I can enable this one. And uh, keeping rest of the parameters to default. Moving forward. Validation is done. Now I'm going to create the Azure Data Lake Storage account. Deployment started. Deployment is in progress now. Now the deployment is complete. Azure Data Lake Storage got created. Let me go to the resource. So we have to create a container within storage account. So container is used to store the data. So go to data storage, containers, then click on container. I can give a name, container, hyphen, Raja, data engineering for this demo purpose. Click on create. The container is created. So within the container, we can create a folder structure, but still I'm not going to create any folder structure. For this simple demo, I'm going to upload one CSV file. Click on upload. Then select. So I'm going to use uh, world population data for this exercise. Let me click on that. 
and click on upload. File is uploaded. And another important uh, consideration here is we have to get the access key. How can we get the access key? Go to security plus networking. There we can see access keys. Click on access key. Then click on show keys. Here we can find key, key and connection string. So basically in this uh, demo, we are going to use this particular key. Now we have created Azure Data Lake Storage and also we have created the container. Also we have uploaded uh, one sample file. Also we understood how to get access key from storage account. Let me get into Databricks environment. I have logged into my Databricks environment and cluster out test is up and running. Let me start with first method of integrating Azure Data Lake Storage with Databricks. In this method, we are going to use access key directly. For this, we have to set a Spark configuration. So in this step, I'm going to set up the configuration. For that, I need to pass two parameters. In the first parameter, I need to pass the storage account. The first parameter name is FS Azure account key. Then we need to give our storage account. So our storage account, I can get it from portal. So this is my storage account. Let me copy. And I need to supply access key in the second parameter. How can I get my access uh, key? Go to storage account, go to access keys. Then you can click on show keys. Then we can copy the key. I have copied the key and let me put it here. Let me execute this step. Now we have done the Spark configuration. Now directly we can access uh, Azure Data Lake Storage through Databricks. So I want to list down all the files under the container. So this is my container, container iPhone Raja DE. Within that I have one file. Now in real time project, we might have um, nested folders and also we might have number of files. Here I don't have any folder and also there is only one CSV file. But I want to list down all the files under this location. How can I do? So for that, I'm going to use dbutility command dbutil start fs.ls and the syntax is uh, this is the syntax. Here we need to give the container name and in this place we need to give our storage account name. So my container name is container raja de and uh, my storage account name it's um, ads raja de. So let me execute this step. Let will list on all the files under this. Uh, container. Great. This is working. Now Databricks can integrate with Azure Data Lake Storage and it has uh, written one file name world population data dot CSV and it is giving its size as well. So now we are able to talk to Azure Data Lake Storage through Databricks. Now I want to read this file and uh, want to create a data frame. How can I do? So for that we are going to use Spark Data Frame Reader. It's a simple syntax, smog.read format, I'm giving CSV and I'm giving options in for schema headed true delimiter and finally I'm giving uh, location to load the data. So location, this is the syntax. Here we have to provide container name and also storage name. It's similar to our previous uh, uh, listing, uh, listing command. So this is the location under this container. I want to read all the files and create a data frame. Currently we have only one file that is worldpopulation.csv. So let me execute this stuff. This is going to read the data from data lake storage and it will create a data frame and it will display that. Let me execute this one. Great. Data frame got created and we are able to see the data. So Databricks uh, is able to fetch the data from data lake storage. And the second method, creating a mount point. This is more standard. And in most of the projects, we used to create a mount point. Once we have created mount point, then uh, Databricks can consider Azure Data Lake Storage as if local file system. Even though it's not local, it can it can act 
it can read the files read or write as if it's a local file system for databricks so what is the syntax for mounting for mounting we are going to use db utilities db utility command db utils dot tfs dot mount so there are three parameters we need to provide one is source what is the source either we can give our adls um, uh, storage account or we can give store uh, blob account so how can i get that so for that we have to get into our storage account there we can go to endpoint from the endpoint we can see now this is a blob core this is the uh, endpoint to connect to blob service so we have to take this uh, value adls raja data engineering dot blob dot core dot windows dot net so that we need to pass here and before that we have to give this syntax for blob storage we, are, we need to provide wa sbs then we have to give the container name and after that it's a mount point okay we can give any mount point it's a free text generally it starts with slash mnt then we used to provide one standard name for this particular container so here i am creating this mount point for testing purpose that's the reason i have given slash mnt slash adls underscore test but we can provide anything then finally we need to provide extra config in the extra config we need to provide same details you know that uh, we did in spark configuration setting we need to provide the account name and we have to provide the access key so i have already taken this one so let me copy and put it there here storage account name I'm going to give ADLS Raja DE. Then I need to provide the access key. Access key, let me copy it from here. Or we can get it portal. Go to access keys. Click on show key and copy once again. Let me put it here. That's it. This is very simple. Let, let me execute this one. Yeah, the execution is successful and output is true, which means mount point got created successfully. Now I want to access this mount point. So going forward, I don't need to give the complete lengthy path like this. In order to list all the files under this location, I can simply give the mount point. So the mount point is slash mnt adls test. So I'm going to list list on all the files under this container. Let me execute this one. It is working fine. It is listing all the files under this mount point. So this is how we can create a mount point and we can use it further in our uh, development. While working in real project, generally we used to create multiple mount points in order to connect to several storage accounts and containers. So if that is the case, if you want to list on, if you want to see all the mount points created for your workspace, you can use dputils.fs.mounts command. Let me execute this one. It is listing down the recently created mount point. Just now we have created one mount point slash mnt slash adls underscore test that we can see. This is how you can list down all the mount points. And if you don't want a mount point, you know, you want to remove a mount point, then we can use dputilities.fs.unmount, then we can give a mount point name. So here we have created a mount point. Uh, slash mnt slash adls test if i want if i want to unmount i can use this command let me execute this one yeah this mount point has been unmounted successfully and that's it i hope you understood the concept how to integrate azure data lake storage with databricks using uh, two different approaches in this demo if you like the content of this video please like and comment Please subscribe this channel and don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.